But Chas Freeman had a warning for Israel too. When people think of Israel in the past, they thought of it as a refuge for the victims of the Holocaust. Now they will think of it as the home of perpetrators of genocide. When they think of Israel, they will think of burned buildings and dead babies. This is an image problem of a fundamental nature. And from the point of view of Israel, it strips Israel of its protection by charges of anti-Semitism against anyone who is critical of Israel. Because to be critical of people who are carrying out genocide cannot be anti-Semitism. It cannot be considered immoral. Anti-Semitism is a despicable attitude, but to oppose genocide by Israel is not. How is history going to look back on these events? Is that going to change how people look at Israel and think of it in the days and years to come?